Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, upon popular request, today we're gonna watch The Army of Satan, part 25, The Truth About Christianity. This video is almost 20 minutes long, which means this will be a long reaction video. Guys, do me a favor, if you like the content, leave it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. I double-checked and 70% of my viewers are not even subscribed to the channel. Do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Takes less than a second and helps out the channel. With no further ado, let's have a look. The animation is on point. Always, man, the editing. Impressive. The following episode may contain some information that may be hard for some of you to accept. It will show you how the divine religions have been manipulated during the history of mankind. Our intention is not to insult any religion, but to let you know how the basic teaching of those religions have been vanished or have been replaced with false teachings. Please watch till the end of the video before jumping to conclusions. Yeah, I believe that. There's been corruption Life is the test, and therefore there should be a guidance for us to understand the truth of this reality that we experience as life, and the tasks that are given for us to be fulfilled in order to pass this test. Well, the point is that this guidance has always been sent by Almighty Creator for every generation and every nation throughout the history, from the time of the very first human being till now. But that's not all, because if you have done a little research, you would have known that there is an evil force which tries to destroy mankind and divert them from the straight path of sexes. Sure. And that's why you should keep in mind that this evil force first and foremost tries to make a false picture of the truth. The truth that comes from God. Yeah, absolutely. All truth comes from God. Matter of fact, the only real truth is God. And therefore, you see that everything nowadays, especially, is being twisted. Men can be women. Women can be men. There is no objective truth. Whilst discussing, debating vegans here on my channel, this is a reoccurring theme, of course. There is no absolute truth, but eating animals is bad. It all boils down to subjective morality. And if we all have our subjective morality, then there is no right and wrong and therefore you can do what you want. This is the evil force at work. For that he uses two tricks. First, making false religions. And second, manipulation of the divine religions. Sure. The invention of false religions and manipulation of the divine religions were always aimed for three purposes. First, to divert people from worshipping the true God and to make a false picture of the reality. This is the most important goal of at least to make people believe in anything other than the real God. But mostly he wants people to worship three things. Jinn, fire and sun, which is again fire. And as you know, Jinn... That might be true, there was a lot of sun worship throughout human history. ...are made of fire. Jinn worship, you could say too, if we look into Hinduism, all of those deities, all of those perceived gods could be Jinn as well. And if you remember the story of Iblis, he challenged and wants to prove that jinn are superior to mankind. That's why he makes them worship jinn. Throughout the history, devils of the jinn deceived people to accept them as their deities with different names. For example, Anunnaki, yep, serpent gods, Anubis, Hindu demon deities, exactly, Archons, Baphomet, aliens, etc. Yeah, absolutely, we're on the same page here. I did a lot of research on that topic, 100%. All of those aliens now landing could very well be demons as well. Serpent gods, yep. 
exactly right. If you're new to this channel, I had a lot of experiences with so-called plant medicines. I even went to Peru and to Colombia and I drank ayahuasca, which is a visionary brew with the shamans, the medicine men, in the Amazon jungle. And throughout those experiences, I actually encountered beings that looked like Anubis. That's quite fascinating. Ganesha, yep. Shiva. And of course, Kali. I mean, come on. <laughs> they're always blue, it's correct. It's fascinating. If you really look into it, they're always blue. This is why I have to assume that in Avatar, the movie, they used blue entities as well. And modern day people call them aliens. Exactly right. It's nothing new. But because of Star Trek, Star Wars, they want you to believe it's new. Second. Science. Use the religions for gaining power and ruling over the society. From the very past, religions were the most powerful tool for kingdoms to rule over the nations. Sure. Third, to delude people and earn vows and gifts from them in order to fulfill their own desires. Yeah, as well. So, as mentioned before, the true guidance was always sent down by the Creator to people from time to time, and people kept changing the revelations exactly for the same three reasons. But every time that people changed the revelation, God sent them an updated version so that the true message of monotheism remains for guidance of people. Okay. Indeed, Christianity was also one of those divine religions which was later changed. But why did the monotheistic religion of Christianity change and how paganism is merged into it? The ruling authorities and social geographical issues were the main reasons. When the people were being Roman invited Empire. to Christianity, the first rejection came from Jewish people by denying Isa salam as the true messenger of God. Yes. Within 200 day. years after it began, Christianity abandoned many of the teachings of Isa salam. Influenced by Greek and Roman paganism, Zoroastrianism and beliefs that go back as far as the time of Nimrud, Christianity turned away from most of its Hebraic foundation. Christmas and other holidays like Easter and Halloween were adopted in favor of original Hebraic days of worship it was honored. But the rabbit hole goes yeah, much deeper. Yeah, not only Hebraic, but Roman holidays have been replaced with those holidays. And the church doesn't want you to know the truth. From what the Messiah looked like to the very names he was called, what you have been taught all your life is almost entirely wrong. Yeah, absolutely, especially if we look at the depictions of Jesus within the Roman Catholic context. I believe they took a prince, some son of a king, I forgot the name, to model Jesus after so he looks like a European white male. Are you ready to know how Christianity was manipulated? Sure. Let's go a little deep into some of the main beliefs of Christianity to see how pagan beliefs are being merged with them. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Christmas and the birth of Jesus. And you start On that to note, many people ask me what the difference is between Catholicism and Orthodoxy. So I am a Christian Orthodox and we do not celebrate Christmas on the 25th of December. But rather the Christian Orthodox Church stuck with the original date of the 7th of January and didn't change it into the 25th. It has been changed into the 25th within the Roman Catholic faith because they replaced some sun worship holiday by Christmas. He changes going so on. Therefore, you could say that the Orthodox Church is still the closest to the original teaching. From the early part of the Christian era in Southern Europe, where the major ceremonies held by the nature worshipping people are combined with Christian names and Christian ceremonies, and therefore what comes forth to us is a mixture with the two streams coming together where you get a monotheistic name or a monotheistic character with a pagan ceremony. And so the mixture of this together is what is giving us the present day holidays that we see. In the story sure. coming in the Quran, in chapter 19 in verses 24 to 25, and we see the mention of the story of Mary, that Miriam, may Allah be pleased with her, was a virgin and she had dedicated her life to the worship of one God, prayer and fasting. 
and by the power of Allah that the Creator breathed His Spirit into her, and He said, Be and it is, she conceived Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, without a father, without a man. That is the belief of Islam. When she felt the pain of the pregnancy, the angel came to her and told her to go outside of the city. She went outside of the city to a remote area, and there she found a palm tree and she found water and it was speaking about a type of rutub or a type of dates it's at the height of the heat that the dates become ripe and so it's at that time that she gave birth to Isa salam. even in the Christian traditions they have the belief that the shepherds were tending their flocks outside and in Palestine you cannot keep your flocks outside in the winter time in the evening you bring them in because it's cool at night and so it was the warm weather. It was also the time of the taxes in the north. So from different points of view, we understand that Isa alayhi salam was not born during the winter season. He was born in the warm weather. So who was it that was born in the winter season? Who is that character now? I don't know how cold it actually gets in that area where Jesus was born. However, the only thing I can tell you is that the Orthodox and the Catholics do differ on the date. December 25th was a time dedicated to the sun. Yes, exactly. The first was in honor of the god Saturn, known as Saturnalia. The second was in honor of Mitra. Yeah. And the third... And I have to repeat myself one more time, for Christian Orthodox this is nothing new, we agree here. Unfortunately the Catholic faith is the most widespread throughout the world, so therefore obviously people will associate Christianity only with Catholicism. However in the Orthodox faith we disagree with the Catholics quite a bit. It's actually very similar to Sunni and Shia Islam, where Sunnis will say, hey Shia is not even Islam. And this is the same perspective of the Orthodox. The Orthodox say that the Catholic Catholics are not real Christians. Third one was the fist you have to keep that in mind as well. A day observed by the Emperor Constantine. In 274 CE, Rome established December 25th as the birthday of the sun. Unable to remove this influence, the church adopted this day as the sun S-U-N of righteousness. Why 25th of December is chosen as the birthday of the sun. During the winter in the northern hemisphere, the days become shorter and the nights become longer because the sun moves towards the southern hemisphere. And on the 21st of December, the northern hemisphere will sink into its deepest point of darkness because it is the longest night of the year. The sun stops moving south, at least perceivably, for three days and during this three-day pause the sun resides in the vicinity of the Southern Cross or Crux constellation. Actually, I heard this before, it was in the movie Zeitgeist. If you go back, I believe, 15 years by now, man, maybe even longer, Zeitgeist was a conspiratorial movie and they were the first to debunk Christianity, actually with the same arguments. So it's nothing new, it's not new information. And after this time, on the December 25th, the sun moves one degree, this time north, therefore the people of the northern hemisphere consider this moving of sun towards the north as the rise birth of the sun. Yep, as I was saying, I know this. And as winter approaches, December, it gets colder and colder here for you people. And as December 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, the primitive man, he could sense day by day, they can see the sun in the distance. Far away, it's going east to west, further and further away, and it's getting colder and colder. So they personify that, that the devil is eating up the sun. Though they start beating drums and start offering prayers, that the sun may not be swallowed up, because if it gets swallowed up, they'll be finished for good. 24th of December, the equinox, and now you see the 25th, those primitive people in the northern hemisphere, they could sense 
the variation in temperature day by day. Yet again, I absolutely agree with this because I come from a Christian Orthodox standpoint. Those points about Catholicism have been debunked even by Christian Orthodox themselves. Many such things led to the schism, led to the division between Orthodoxy and Catholicism in the first place. I really recommend you guys to research Orthodoxy to understand the differences between Christianity in order to understand that not all Christians are equal. 25th, they can see the sun coming back into its own. Yeah. In other words, the sun has now come out supreme. It has not been, a, the, the devil didn't swallow up the sun. It's coming back. So that is the date of the birth of the sun god. Sun god, the sun has come back into its own. Those, they celebrated Christmas. Birth of, not Jesus Christ, the birth of the sun god, Baal, Horus, Apollo, all these were the sun gods yes. worshipped in the Mediterranean region and their birthday was the 25th of December. Absolutely correct. So yeah, exactly right. All of those pagan deities, they have been worshipped on the 25th of December. The Roman Catholics, they adopted exactly that date then for the birthday of Jesus Christ. The Christian Orthodox, one last time, hopefully stayed with the 7th of January. So this very day. when the... The people became Christianized and the Constantine, they accepted that birthday of the sun as the birth of the son of God, in inverted commas. So it is not the birthday of Jesus. No, it's not. Christmas was illegal in the US until 1836 as it was considered as an ancient pagan holiday. But how was it infiltrated inside Christianity? The answer is very clear, it was infiltrated to Christianity as a result of the efforts of the hands behind the governments. That might very well be. And since most of the Christians are not aware of this deception, they unconsciously worship the sun god. Yeah, okay, sure, we could say that. But at the same time, if I see what Christmas has become in this day and age, all I see is worship of consumerism. They choose to go to the church on Sunday, the day of the worship of the sun, to worship the sun god. Yeah, well, of course, you could use those semantics or we could research further to actually check what Sunday means in Greek, in Latin and in Hebraic. I think that would be fair. They represent this character, Son God, as Jesus, and they call it Son of God, Son of God. Get it? Yet again, semantics, I would have to see what Son and Son means in Hebraic, in Greek, and in Latin, if they are comparable. 100% bro, those guys are Satanists. That's what we say as Orthodox as well. The Catholic Church is Satanic. The Vatican, especially. Obelisks are monuments which were made in honor of Sun God Ra. As right. gratification for his protection, victories given to pharaohs and asking for favors. They look like Egyptian pyramids and symbolize the sun rays descending on Earth. But why do we see them in front of churches today? Not only in churches, you see them everywhere in America as well. Check out Washington. It's quite interesting. Mm. The concept of the Trinity. Now it gets interesting. For As a first. matter of fact, Trinity is a pagan concept that has been developed in Christianity over the centuries, by I which the agree. Christians claim that God manifests as three persons, yes. the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So let's compare the idea with the ancient pagan religions. The Babylonian worshipped the trinity of Nana, Shamash and Ishtar. Correct. The ancient Egyptian had the trinity of Amun, Ra and Ta. Hinduism belief in trinity doctrine yes. in which the supreme deity Brahma appeared in three forms. Yes. Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. Exactly right. The Greeks believed in Hecate, a three-headed goddess of night and magic. The tribes of northwestern Europe worship the group of three female deities known as matrony, meaning matrons. The Persians believed in triad of Ahura Mazda, Mitra and Anahita. Ah, interesting. I thought Zoroastrianism was based on a duality and not on a trinity as well. I learned something today. Easter there are so many references pagan, yes. that confirm the origin of Easter that has came from Anglo-Saxon. 
Sure. Ister or Estera is a Teutonic goddess of spring to whom sacrifice was offered about Passover time. A time when the sun crosses the equator and day and night are nearly of equal length. Her symbols are rabbit and egg, which has no connection with the resurrection of Jesus Christ. But today we see that Christians celebrate this day with the same traditions without understanding its origin. And most amazingly, this feast is also being done on Sunday. Yeah, especially the eggs, they're used as a symbol of fertility. Paganism went hand in hand with fertility cults. They would consume psychedelics and then they would have ritualistic orgies. They would have sex for multiple days in order to demonstrate their fertility. It's related to the yeah, worship of the sun. It's true. This pagan festival was adopted in Christianity somewhere around 8th century. Ostera, the pagan goddess. Yeah, I totally agree. Replaced, yes. Similarity between cross and ankh. In fact, Ankh was used as a symbol of resurrection at the time of pharaohs, same as cross which is known as the symbol of resurrection for Christians. Exactly, on that note I want to repeat this, this is the symbol of resurrection. So when Muslims ask why we use the torture instrument as a symbol for Christianity, why do we worship it? Christians do not worship the cross, it is just used as a symbol for the resurrection. Just clarifying. There are so many other infiltrations of paganism into Christianity, but these were some of the major infiltrations that have changed the monotheistic belief of Christianity and turned it into a pagan belief system. Dear Christian viewers, we respect and believe in the pure teachings of Christianity and we love Isa, peace be upon him, who was one of the mighty messengers of Allah. But unfortunately, those pure teachings have been replaced with paganism over the centuries. And we know how difficult it is for an individual who has been told lies throughout his entire life to face the truth. It's not really hard for me, to be honest. If it's true, it's true. Therefore, we ask you to do your own research and learn how the pure teachings of the monotheistic religion of Christianity are changed due to the efforts of Satan and his army. We fully agree, bro. A serious question. Should. What about Islam? Has it gone under such infiltrations or did anything happen to it during these 14 centuries? That's a fantastic question and I'm gonna pause it right there. This is my hurdle at the moment. I do believe in the preservation of the Quran. However, I do have to assume that hadiths have been corrupted. I know that Sunni Muslims, Orthodox Muslims will disagree with me. And just to clarify, I'm not saying I'm 100% convinced. I'm simply pointing out that I am skeptical, especially after being a Christian for so long and studying all the other religions, seeing the corruption within religion and politics as well, history, etc., etc., you name it. So therefore, I'm very, very cautious when it comes down to new information. I think you understand. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. It cuts off there long enough as it is anyways. Absolutely interesting watch. However, for me, the information was not new. As I said, check out the movie Zeitgeist. I believe it is still on YouTube. It was one of the first conspiratorial movies that debunked Christianity, debunked the banking cartels. Nevertheless, an interesting movie to watch. Therefore, this was new to me. And as I said numerous times throughout this video, as an Orthodox Christian, we fully agree we're on the same page here the vatican is satanic the antichrist might as well be within the vatican we don't see catholicism as real christianity all right be that as it may if you like the video leave the thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already guys please do so and if you want to support this channel all the links are in the description box below let me know as well in the comment section what video i should react to next as always may god bless you all much love and peace